Hi, so this is my multimedia presentation for my foundation blocks. Um, first off, my name is Erin Hinchy. Hi. Um, I am a second semester freshman here at Millersville. Um, first off, I want to start off with my family. This is a picture of them. These are my parents right there and there. And I have four brothers. There, 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 and there. My two younger brothers, Tommy and Danny, they are autistic, so I've had to grow up with brothers with disabilities and knowing the struggle of that close hand has helped me, you know, develop who I am as a person. Um, my major is mid-level education with a concentration in science. Um, I just wanted to be a teacher because I have relatives who are teachers and also throughout high school and um, early in middle school, I realized how influential teachers can be and I realized that I wanted to do that. I wanted to make an impact on the younger generations that my teachers have made the impact on me. So I wanted to give that out to other people. Um, it's, you might be wondering why science. Um, when I was a freshman at my high school, um, I was iffy with science, but then I was in a bio course, and the teacher, she just was really passionate and so engaging with the subject that I was like, this is awesome. Like, this is what I want to do. Science is what I want to do. So, and from then on, I was like, all about it. So, yeah. So, how I would teach my students science Science is a difficult subject, like, it has to take the right person with the right kind of experience to, like, try to take science and mush it down into a comprehensible thing, especially since I'm focused on 4th to 8th grade. That's, you know, when kids are in their, they're developing and they just don't care that much about school. And so I want them to care, and because I think science is cool, and you know, it's awesome. So I'm going to try to keep it engaging. I don't know how far I can get yet right now, because you know I'm still thinking. But I I know I want to keep it engaging. I know I want the kids to care. And you know, there's different issues with that are influencing these kids at the time, especially with peer pressure. Maybe not on a dramatic phase, but just little bits of pressure from around them. If they don't think something's cool or their friends don't think something's cool, then they're not going to think it's cool and they're not going to want to like it. So, and school in general, I think is a big thing because if you're a school, you get labeled a nerd and stuff like that. So I feel like peer pressure is a big one, especially in middle school, and it really is affecting you know, the adolescent kids right now. And re different things on how this block, I think, will help me is very develop my social skills. Um, I suffer from a lot of social anxiety. I don't know if you could tell, but I freak out inside a lot when I'm talking in public to people, like I'm freaking out right now, but, you know, I'm alone in my room. Um, I hope this course will give me tools to be confident in my speaking and talking professionally with other people and also with the disposition sheet I kind of rated myself um the first one's act responsibly on a scale of one to four one being bad and four being like excellent um act responsibly I gave myself a three I felt like I've been raised the right way and I am very responsible and respectful and good judgment making um develop demonstrates intellectual curiosity i also gave myself a three for this because i feel like i have a very open mind with a lot of opinions and views so it's i'm not very judgmental and i want to see connections with different topics and different actions and just I don't know. I <laughs> saw so I gave myself a three with that, but I just I feel like I'm really good with demonstrating that. Um, collaborating with colleagues and students, I gave myself a one point five. 
like I said before, with the anxiety, like, I shut down, and I'm just like, I don't want to talk to anyone, but I'm trying to overcome that. Um, I gave myself for two for the next one, that's attend, intend to, attends to feedback from colleagues and students, I'm sorry. Um, and basically, I gave myself a two because since I don't communicate that often with colleagues and students, um, I don't get as much feedback that I would typically, so I gave myself a two in the middle because I feel like that's very good, and I, the feedback that I do get, I recognize it, um, and I use it to my advantage and try to fix, you know, things I've been doing. Um, views human potential positive, views human potential positively, I gave myself 2.5 for that because I try to see the best in everyone and try to stay very positive in my life. And then for the last one, Pursues Quality, um, I also give myself 2.5 because I do believe even though I am very into quality over quantity, um, I do believe I can improve on that greatly even though I have that moral like compass of myself, I, if you want to call it that. so. Yeah, that's basically, and just one more thing, fears that I have with this block, um, time management, because of all the reading assignments that this course requires, and on top of other coursework that I have for different classes, which is also a lot of reading, and I'm particularly like slow reader, so I'm just like, there's no time in a single day, but it has to happen, um, and also with the field work, I didn't expect to be thrown into the field this soon, but, you know, gotta start somewhere. So, thank you, and I hope this semester will be great for you and for me. Bye.